Hey everybody, guess what? I'm running late this morning, but it's Thursday. It's a little after seven. That means it's time for another installment of Seven Minutes in the Morning. Stay tuned. This is Seven Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Mm. Hey, you're back already. Good morning. It is um, cloudy. I'll call it cloud. Partly cloudy this morning. Not quite as hot as it was yesterday, but then again, the fan's running. So anyway, there's the weather report. This, however, is 7 Minutes in the Morning, the show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. My name's Tom Rigsby, your humble host. I, and uh, I actually, well, I'll come, I'll get to that in just a minute. Listen, when you get here, do what Joe and Catherine have done, even if you're watching on the replay. Go ahead and leave a comment. Say hi, hello, good morning. I forgot to get the chicken again. <sighs> All right. I'll, it'll be here for free coaching Friday tomorrow. How about that? Which actually is a great segue. Tomorrow's Friday. That means it's free coaching Friday. If you have a topic, a question, or something you'd like to try and stump the coach with, come prepared tomorrow so that you can drop it in the comment and uh, and I'll take on whatever you've got going there. Hurricane brewing in the Gulf. <laughs> well, it is that time of year. All right, so today... Um, Today originated with a quote from uh, Jocko, Jocko Willink. If you don't, if, if you haven't read, don't know who Jocko is, just Google Jocko or whatever your favorite search engine is. J-O-C-K-O. There's no missing it after that. Um, but there's, a, I was listening to his podcast and he had a great line a couple of weeks ago. I thought it, it fit well here today. Um, especially as we're talking about this week we spent a lot of time talking about confidence and um, you know confidence comes from execution the more you do something the more confidence you, you build in it sometimes when we are in we can be in a growth mode we can be inundated with good or bad but we get into this state of overwhelm and that overwhelm can become debilitating so what do you do? And that's really what I wanted to talk about today. The confidence is great, but it doesn't help if you are overwhelmed with uh, the options or quantity of decisions that need to be made. So this quote from Jocko was really good. This relax, look around. Uh, well, now I forgot what the final was there. Relax, look around, make a call. Relax, look around, make a call. I kind of, I'll throw a different one in there. Relax, take a breath, look around, and make a decision. Leadership is about making decisions. It's not any more complicated than that. It's got nothing to do with the title on your business card, your place in the org chart, none of that. Leadership is about making decisions. And when you are in this state of overwhelm and things are just you know, there's just too much going on, you have to fall back and simplify. Now, um, another great read if, uh, if you're looking for some <laughs> something to read, The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. But in, in that book, she talks about how the only thing she felt like she had control over was the snooze button on her alarm clock. So she doggedly pursued being in control of the snooze button. I mean, it might have to start that simple so that you can, can realize you have the opportunity to be in control of this. And then with that, once you gain some confidence from that, you can apply that confidence to tackling the bigger stack of overwhelming stuff. Now, in all of those cases, even with giant heaping piles of overwhelm and decisions and challenges that you need to address they all get the, the all the decisions get made the same way all of them 
they should get made the same way. Right? In this particular case, which one of these two options moves me closer to my goal? And that's the one you do. Now, I say should be because sometimes we let other people influence our decision-making process. That's a whole nother show. We'll have to talk about that a whole nother day. But just start, right? Journey of a thousand miles, you know, make one decision. That's one reason I really like the P4F model because there's only five things on the to-do list. It's impossible to be overwhelmed by five things. I mean, five things you can knock out. That depends on the complexity, but you should be able to easily knock them out in a day and walk away from the day feeling like you won the day. Right? Start with five. You get those five done before lunch, pick five more for the afternoon. Just start. Right? Let that confidence build and, and make a decision, even if it's the wrong decision. The per, what's the old saying about a perfect decision? The perfect decision is the one that's made on time. Because as soon as you take that step and your perspective, your point of view changes, your next decision is going to change as well. Uh, actually, Catherine, I think your, con your, uh, your comment there, uh, confidence matters little without person purposeful action I think is coming up in the quotes list later this week I'll be on the lookout for that yeah kicking they out of your head <laughs> uh, that's what the sticks for Catherine um, yeah kicking they out of your head well that's a that's a great one I'll have to, I'll have to listen listen read watch that whatever however that comes out all right so simplify the key to this, anytime you feel overwhelmed, simplify. You got five boys, knock it down to four. If four is too much, knock it down to three. They'll pick up sooner or later on what you're doing. Not really, just kidding. But the point is, simplify. Right? Even if it's something as simple as the snooze button, pick one thing that you can control. Build confidence in that and then leverage off of that confidence to take on something else. Hey, listen, do me a favor. If you have found value in our conversation today, leave a like, a heart, a thumbs up, whatever is appropriate in the, in the venue and context where you are watching or listening. And if you're only listening and not watching, you should come over and watch. 7minutesinthemorning.com get you to the right place so you can join in the conversation live. And if you know one person who could benefit from our conversation today, be sure and share this video with them. They will give you credit for the share, and I'll make a new friend. All right, that's it for today. Remember, tomorrow's Free Coaching Friday. Have your question uh, ready for Stump the Coach. You guys are not, you, your record's not that great. My record is virtually perfect. So you got to bring it tomorrow. All right, that's it. You guys have a terrific Thursday. Talk to you again tomorrow.